Hi, my name is Adam. I'm a student of Dr. Misseldines at SUU, and today we're going to be exploring and proving the alternate interior angle theorem. So, the alternate interior angle theorem says that if two distinct lines cut by a transversal have a pair of congruent alternate interior angles, then the two lines are parallel. And this is a very, very big theorem in congruence geometry. So, let's start by constructing what the scenario says. So I have two lines cut by a transversal. Let's call the lines L, M, and T. All right, and let's label six points on here. I have a point here, B A, B. P, Q, let's call this one A prime, and this one B prime. All right. And by assumption in the theorem, we assume that angle A, P, Q is congruent to angle B prime Q P because that's what it means to be alternate interior angles. So let's go ahead and show that these two angles are congruent. All right, so to prove the alternate interior angle theorem, we're gonna go ahead and do it by contradiction. So to contradict this, let's go ahead and assume that these lines L and M intersect. And we're going to say they intersect at some point R. And we're going to go ahead and put R over here. All right. And without loss of generality, we're going to say that R is on the same side of T as A and B are. All right. So what can we say now? Well, by segment translation, let's translate this segment, PR, here, to Q on the ray QB prime, okay? So there's gonna be some point up here, let's call it R prime, such that PR and QR prime, the segments are congruent, okay? And then, we'll know that the triangles are congruent because this is congruent to itself. These two angles are congruent and this is congruent to this by the segment translation we just did. Okay, so triangle PRQ is congruent to triangle PQR prime. So for now, we're gonna go ahead and draw a line like this and say that this triangle here is congruent to this triangle here. All right, since these triangles are congruent, as corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent, we know that this angle, angle R prime PQ, is congruent to this angle because those are the corresponding parts of the congruent triangles. This angle is angle PQR. All right, additionally, since P since angle A, P, Q, and B prime, Q, P are congruent, um, and A prime, P, Q is the supplement of A, P, Q, and B, Q, P is the supplement of B prime, Q, P, since supplements of congruent angles are congruent, angle B, Q, P is congruent angle A prime, P, Q. So therefore, by tr transitivity, we know that angle A prime P Q is congruent to angle R prime P Q. However, by uniqueness of angle translation, there can only be one angle here, right? This smaller angle can't be congruent to this bigger angle unless they're the same angle. Therefore, it's too big. 
this line goes through a prime because they have to be congruent. So this should look more like this. All right, this shows that r prime is an element of the ray p a prime. And more importantly, it shows that r prime is an element of the line L. And it's an intersection of L and M because we already know that r prime is on the line M. However, what that gives us is that both r over here and r prime are on or are elements of the intersection of L and M. And we know that R is not the same as R prime because they're on opposite sides of T. We have that plane separation in congruence geometry. So lines L and M have two different points of intersection, R and R prime, which violates line determination. So this situation can't happen, which contradicts our original assumption that these lines intersect. And the contradiction of these lines intersecting is that the lines are parallel. Therefore, if two distinct lines cut by a transversal have a pair of congruent alternate interior angles, the two lines are parallel. And that is the alternate interior angle theorem. Thank you for watching.